Hey, beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great. Welcome back to some Warframe. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your very own Necromech. But before I continue with the video, please spot and click the subscribe button for more Warframe videos. And let's do this. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go up to the console like so and start interacting with it. Then you want to go to demos. So click on it and go to a place called the Necrolisk. Now the Necrolisk is basically another social space, but for the heart of Demos itself. So I'll see you guys when I'm there. So when you guys land in a Necrolisk, the first thing that we need to do is to simply push 5. That way we can go into our operator form. Next, click escape, click on fast travel, and then click on Lloyd. Here you'll then be taken to a special room that only your operator can access. So keep that in mind. Next, you guys want to then click on browse ways. Now when you guys click on this, it will show you exactly what Lloyd is selling to us. Now in order to get ourselves a Necromech, we need to go and get ourselves five different blueprints. And here is exactly what you need. So we'll be needing this, 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 and this. Make sure to go and get yourself all five of these blueprints. Now, in order to get eligible to these blueprints, you may have to make sure that you are ranked two with Lloyd's Syndicate. Let me explain myself. So I'm gonna return back to the main menu and then I'm gonna click on Necroloid Standing. As you guys can see, here is my current rank. I'm currently at rank 2. So here is how the Heart of Demos Syndicate works, or Lloyd's Syndicate works. Normally, when you guys start this Heart of Demos for the first time, what's going to happen is you'll start from neutral. In order to go from neutral to level 1, you'll be required to go and get yourself 5,000 standing. Once you guys have hit that particular threshold, what's going to happen is you'll be required to go and sacrifice particular items. Now, once you guys hit that threshold, you have to click on rank up and Lloyd will tell you exactly what you guys need to sacrifice. So go and get those items. Once you guys have been fulfilled those requirements, then click on this button. Now you have to keep repeating this process until you hit rank two or rank three, entirely up to you guys. Now, in order to get standing, we simply have to go and sacrifice a special resource. Let me explain myself even further. So I'm going to return to the main menu and then you guys want to click on the trade whatever's section. So click on that option and as you guys can see, there are three items. There's this, this and this. Now, in order to get all three of these items, you guys simply have to go and complete the isolation vaults. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't worry. If you don't know what the isolation vaults, I've got you guys covered. I'll leave a link down to the description on those videos on how the isolation vaults work and I'll suggest to you guys at the top right. So go and complete your isolation vault and you guys can get these parts. So when you guys go and bought your blueprint, the next thing to do is to simply return to your orbiter and access your foundry. Here, you'll be required to go out and grind the necessary resources. Now for each Necromech blueprint, you're required to go and get a previously damaged version of that particular blueprint. Here's what I mean. So let's say we want to go and build a void casting, or sorry, a void rig casing. What you'll be needing is a previously damaged Necromech casing. The same can be said for the engine. Once again, you'll be needing a damaged Necromech engine. For the capsule, you'll be needing a previously damaged Necromech pod. And finally, for the weapon pod, once again, you'll be needing a damaged Necromech weapon pod. Now, in order to get these pods, you simply have to go and complete your isolation vault and take out the enemy Necromechs. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to know exactly what I'm talking about, I've left some links down in the description and I'll suggest to you guys at the top right. So once you guys have got all those resources, simply go and build. Each component takes about 12 hours and once you guys have built all those pods, you can simply move on to the main recipe and start crafting. Now the main recipe takes about three days to finish. So after the three days is up, what's gonna happen is you'll be able to claim your Necromech from the foundry. So go and do that. Once you guys have claimed it, simply go to this wheel like so and click on gear. Here you should see the gear item called the Necromech Summoning. Now usually when you do claim your Necromech, this item should automatically be added to your gear wheel. If you guys don't see it, click on an empty slot like so and start searching and you should see it. Now that means that you've successfully equipped your Necromech. If you guys want to access your Necromech, simply push escape again, click on this symbol right here and scroll all the way down to the Necromech section. And there you guys have it, your very own Necromech. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys liked the video or if it's helped you, leave a like. Spot and click the subscribe button for more Warframe videos. I'm going to make like a banana and split.